a natural makeup look that I've been wearing in my past three videos and um, you guys requested it so here it is guys Just wanted to warn you guys, due to the weather, sometimes the lighting in the, f in the video may change. So I've already applied my foundation and eye primer and I'm going to go ahead and apply Max Amber Light to the eye area. a small smudger brush I'm also going to apply that along the lower lash line this will help enhance the eyes taking a shimmery white color I'm going to apply it on the inner corners of my eyes not only will this highlight the eyes it will also brighten up the eye area taking max tempting I'm gonna apply that in the crease of my eye starting on the outer corner creating a nice V and then working my way in the best way to good eyeshadow application is to know your eye shape so take some practice and find out where your crease is Taking Max Vanilla as a highlighting colour, I'm going to apply that under the brow bone. Not only will this highlight the brow bone, it will also help blend the eyeshadow. Taking Anna Sweet's Eyebrow Powder, I'm going to just fill in all the gaps in my eyebrows. Eyebrow powder is the most natural way of filling in the eyebrows. And then using a brow set, just gently apply that Sweeping along the brows, this will set the brows and make sure that they stay in place. Using a liquid eyeliner, I'm going to apply that on the top lash line, creating a nice cat eye. And then taking some gel eyeliner and a small brush, I'm going to apply that generously on the lower lash line. I prefer to use gel eyeliner as opposed to pencil eyeliner because gel liner stays a lot longer and it doesn't smudge. Taking Max Carbon, which is a matte black, I'm going to smudge that over the eyeliner. Not only will this soften the look, it will also help keep the liner on for longer. And I'm going to apply that to the bottom on the outer corner too. So it's time to curl those lashes and apply some falsies. Of course, I'm going to then go and ahead and use a mascara to blend the real and the false lashes together and to also mascara my bottom lashes. Using a warm blusher, I'm going to apply that to the cheeks and blend it upwards in the way that you would contour. And finally finishing off with Rimmel's Nude Delight which is my favourite lipstick. This will give a nice nude finish and finish off that perfect natural look. 